What is going on everybody? Welcome to my tutorial on how to use Twitter's API version 1.1 to access streaming tweets within Python. My previous Twitter tutorials were showing you how to parse Twitter basically without using Twitter's API. And there's a multitude of reasons why you'd want to do this, but also I'm sure a lot of people just want to parse Twitter using, or just pull from Twitter using Twitter's API, and the API is actually a pretty good API. That said, the documentation on Twitter is, while extremely extensive, is also like really confusing. And maybe it's kind of confusing because it is so extensive, I don't know. Or maybe I just suck at reading uh, documentation. Either way, if you're in that same boat as me, I've got a video for you. So my goal here in this video is, just in this first video, to go completely from scratch where we are right now to streaming data in Python. And then from there, I'll have some future videos on how to manipulate this data. Also, I've had a lot of requests for reading um, Arabic, Chinese, and some other stuff within Python. So we'll probably have some videos on that as well. So stay tuned for those. So anyway, um, how do we actually get started? So the first thing that you're going to want to do is take yourself, you know, open up uh, whatever browser you're using, and go to dev.twitter.com. From there, you're going to want to sign in to your account. In my case, it's sentdex, password, one, two, three, four, five. So once you log in, it should look a little bit something like this. And what we want to do is actually add our application. So probably the best way to do this is go over to your uh, user over here and click on My Applications. Wait for that to load up. And you can see I already have an application here, but you might, you probably don't. So uh, click on Create a New Application. And when you do that, you're going to want to enter in all of the various details to this application. So in my case, we're going to call this, um, I guess we'll just call it Twitter feed. Um, so your application name. And then here, description, stream of Twitter is what we'll call it. Website, this is going to be with sentdex.com. Um, you don't need to put a callback URL yet. Come down here, agree to their terms and then do one of these impossible captchas. Let's wait until I can find one. This one looks okay. And then create the application. Hopefully we have the captcha right. Not a valid U. Okay. HTTP colon slash slash syntax.com. Hopefully I don't. You know what I like about Twitter? If there's nothing else I like about Twitter, it's that we got the captcha right, but we screwed up something else in the form and we don't have to do another CAPTCHA. That's great, every website needs to adopt this. Oh my goodness, Twitter feed has already been taken for, okay, dokey. So somebody else already has that, so we'll just call it U YT Twitter feed, uh, create, oh my goodness. <laughs> this is quite possibly the hardest application I've ever had to make. Okay, <laughs> great. We've got YouTube feed, good, we made the application. And as you can see, we do have um, a whole, like a consumer key and a consumer secret. But the other thing that we need is these access tokens. So the next thing you'll wanna do is come down here and say, yeah, create my access token. So you just click on that and then it'll say, boom, you've got you know some sort of token that was created. Even if you, um, oh, it takes a moment to take effect, but in a second we should see it. Uh, let's refresh. There we go. So now we have our access token and then our access token secret. Great, so now what do we do with this? Well, the next thing that we wanna do is actually use, um, well, you need this to connect to their Twitter feed. So uh, what we're gonna go ahead and do now though is download Tweepy for um, accessing this Twitter feed. Like I was saying before, I mean, there's, there's a bunch of different um, imports that you can use to do this. Uh, Tweepy is just one of them. I, did, I went through about four of them and Tweepy seem to be the most uh, applicable towards what we are doing here. Now, if you're going to actually make an application with it, it might make sense to go with one of the other ones. So just keep that in mind. So anyway, Tweepy, how do we get it? Well, go to Google and type in Tweepy Python. So I'm going to do that. Let's open up another tab. And down here, like I was saying, Tweepy Python. And we'll go to their GitHub. Now, of course, depending on you know what kind of operating system you're on and all that, um, how you download this might vary. I'm going to go ahead and just download the zip. 
Also, if you didn't already install it or you, you don't know how to install it and you want to do it the same way I've been doing it or I do it, um, if you open up the file, you'll see that there's a setup.py file in there. So what you need to do is navigate to this file and then you just do Python uh, setup.py install. So I'll just show you that real quick. Um, so in here you would cd to desktop slash uh, tweepy2 and then all you really need to do from here is python setup.py install and I've already installed tweepy so I'm not going to do that but that is what you would do and that would install all the files as long as python is in your path if you don't know what that means uh, leave a comment below and I'll, I'll help you out so anyway, that's that. Once you have Tweepy installed, you should be able to uh, go to your Python interpreter. So just open up a Python command line. Wow, that's bright. Um, but anyway, import Tweepy should be possible for you. If it throws an error, something went wrong in the installation process. And if you can't figure it out, go ahead and uh, leave a comment below. Otherwise, uh, if you can't figure it out, continue on. So I'm going to close out of this and close out of this. And now we're going to actually make our... Uh, script. I'm going to go ahead and delete these because I don't need these either. I lied. I want it back. Um, what we're going to have to do, open it up real quick and just kind of like look through it. Sometimes it's helpful to look through your documentation. Um, a great place to start is probably examples and stuff, but you can like look at all of their code in here especially. So we're going to be using streaming. So if you pop into streaming, um, you can see that, you know, you've got stream listener, on connect, on data, um, on status, delete, limit, error, all this stuff. You have all this um, in here that you can use. We're only going to use on data and error, but uh, just so you know, they're all here that you can use. Um, what else? There was one more thing I wanted to show you guys as far as like what you can put in. Here we go. So you can also filter things. And so here, you can filter by locations, async, tracking. Track can be like um, a specific term, stuff like that. Uh, follow can be people and so on. So anyway, we're gonna, uh, I'll show you an example in a moment. So now what we wanna do, let me close out of this. And we're done here, I think as well. And I really am gonna delete this now. And we bring over this tutorial here. There we go. Okay, so now we've got this window here, and this is where we're going to actually um, create our script. Let me see real quick. All right, I made my font a little bigger, so hopefully it's easier to see. Um, so now we need to import three things for our script. So we need from Tweepy. Wow, that's pretty big text. Import stream, and actually we need to be stream with a capital S. From Tweepy import O auth handler pay attention to the casing there and then finally from tweepy dot streaming import stream listener now we'll come down here and now let's go ahead and define a few things the things that we're going to need immediately are going to be the consumer key what are those uh, the consumer secret the access token and then the access secret. So we need all these things. Where are they? Well, I just showed you uh, them. So what you want to do is pop back over to Twitter. For example, here's my Twitter. And let me just squeeze this over. So, um, and what is going on there? Oh, stream listening. Uh, okay, so scroll down and you'll see, okay, well, here's our consumer key. So we'll just copy and paste that. Yours should be different than mine. If it's the same, that's odd. Consumer secret. And then back down here now, access token. And then the access secret. Put that in there. And then we're done with Twitter now. So move that back over. So now we've got our variables that we need. Next thing we need to do is define our uh, listener class, and it's basically a lot like what we've just seen um, in that uh, the documentation files, basically, or actually like the files. It wasn't documentation. 
There might be a better way to go about doing this, but um, this is the way I figured it out. So this is the way we're going to do it. So anyway, class listener. And in here, we're going to say stream listener. And then in here, we're going to have that on data and on error that you saw just a moment ago. So we're going to say define on data. Self data. And then all we want to do is print out whatever that data is and return a true. Otherwise, define on error. Again, parent self status. And then we just want to print the status, so like whatever the error is. So a lot of times you might get, well, I'll show you that in a little bit. We'll, uh, we'll force an error. So the next thing we want to do now is we need to authorize ourselves. So to do this, it's pretty simple. Auth equals, and then we have to use the OAuth handler. Handler. And to do this, we use our consumer key and our consumer secret. And it's doing all kinds of fancy stuff in the background that you don't have to worry about. Auth.set underscore access underscore token. And then here again, we do uh, a token and uh, a secret. Finally, um, we do Twitter stream it equals stream. Pay attention to the uh, capital S there. Auth listener. And that's obviously referring to this listener right here that we made. And then finally, our last line that we need is our filter. So we're going to say Twitter stream dot uh, filter. And what do we want to filter by? Well, we can say track equals, uh, we'll put in car here. So basically every message with car in it, we're going to spit that out. So let's go ahead and save that. And we will run it now. And hopefully not have any massive errors. Ah, we did have an error. Handler. Learn to spell dummy. Try again. Okay, and because my font is just massive, it's hard for me to drag this over. Oh my goodness. Anyway, it's kind of big font because I made it for this video, but as you can see, hopefully, stuff is like flying by. And I would just keep in mind that, you know, you wouldn't want to leave this up for like a really, really long time because as it prints out to this little console, it saves everything and then it'll start printing out like really, really slow. So you really just want to develop short, short term in here and close this out, but that's kind of the whole point of this thing anyway. But as you can see, I mean, this is just spitting out constant data. And so what's really cool about the Twitter API is when you connect to it, it's just, it literally is a stream of data. You don't have to continue connecting to it. So it's pretty cool. Not to mention, let's go ahead and cancel out of this. Um, you get a ton of information like, okay, this, <laughs> this is your tweet right from there all <laughs> the way to here. I mean, that's, that's insane. <laughs> the amount of stuff you get. Now, obviously... You don't really want all of this stuff, but yeah, you get that if, if you want it. So anyway, that's the basic stream uh, and everything you need to do to connect to the stream and you know choose a word or whatever um, for that stream. I will put this uh, the script right here on my uh, website. It's pretty basic, and also their example is very close to this. I basically learned from their example, so um, so yeah. So you can either get it off my website or look at their example or whatever. So. Anyway, hopefully that's uh, helpful to some of you guys. In my future videos, we will be going over some other things that we can do with this Twitter feed. But I did just want to get everyone started off um, on some good footing. So, as always, thanks for watching. Thanks for your support, your subscriptions. And until next time.